Welcome to day number 13 of our 21 days of fasting and prayer consecration. Our focus today is health. We want to pray that God will continue to cover and restore health and heal us from all the things that we're challenged with physically, mentally, and spiritually. There's not just an attack against our bodies. There's an attack against our minds and our spirit. And when we talk about health, we talk about holistic health, body, mind and spirit. Hear the word of the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 17. For I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, saith the Lord. We rest in the promises of God on this day and the promises of God are sure. They are God's word to us. God never utters a word, makes a covenant, makes a promise, establishes a premise without intentionality. In other words, God never says anything that he does not have every intention of bringing to pass. Whatever it looks like, however it seems. When God declares a thing, when he promises a thing, when he says a thing, speaks a word, we receive it as if it is already done. For 17 Romans, he calleth those things that be not as though they already were. When we receive a word of healing or word of health, it is for us to understand that what God has purposed will come to pass in spite of the setbacks, in spite of the even the sicknesses that we have to go through, that God is going to be our health. And so this is why Jeremiah is prophesying, first of all, that there will be a restoration of health. And so I speak to those today that have health challenges. We are amidst an unprecedented pandemic and the variants are evolving every day and many are affected by the onslaught of this pandemic and this disease that has ravished our country, has taken our loved ones far too far too soon, and has plagued our health in many ways. Today, God says, I will restore your health. This is the hope and the confidence that we place in the vitality and the importance of the Word of God. That I will restore your health and where we're wounded, where we have been taken advantage of, where we have suffered hurt in the process, God says, I'm going to heal. There are things that come in our lives that we didn't do not plan for, didn't ask for. There are things that are inflicted upon us. People from time to time will misuse us, mishandle us, abuse us. And it leaves an indelible mark in our lives that sometimes if untreated, will simply grow into greater things. These things must be dealt with, and this is why this word especially comes today, to help us to process those areas of our lives where we are not healthy, if we're not healthy physically, if we're not healthy spiritually, and if we're not healthy psychologically or mentally. The word of the Lord to us is that God says, I will restore your health and I will heal your wounds, wounds of the heart, wounds of the mind, wounds of the spirit, wounds of the psyche, wounds of our mentality. God promised, whatever it is, many times we focus on the things that we endure, the things that we go through, and God is saying, whatever it is today, power is within the hand of God, not only to restore your health, but to heal your wounds. It is Isaiah 53 that teaches us Verse number five, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities, chastisement of his peace upon us. And with his stripes, we are healed. In fact, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. We are, mo- we are wounded in many ways. Sometimes we're not even aware that we've been affected by some of the environments that we're in. It is not until later in life to the things begin to manifest in our body, minds, and spirit that these seeds were sown years before, undetected, unknown, unrealized, undiscerned. And yet now we are in a position where because of what was sown in our lives and what is now beginning to reap, we need God to heal our wounds. The wounds of separation, the wounds of divorce, the wounds of abuse, the wounds of distress, the wounds of discouragement, the wounds of desertion, 
the wounds that leave us so paralyzed sometimes that it's difficult to even speak about openly. All of us have wounds that need to be healed. It hasn't stopped us from living. We are still functional. We still work and we still do the things that we need to do to survive because it's the, it's the survival instinct that drives us to even ignore uh, some of the frailties and some of the injustices and some of the weaknesses that we experience in our own lives. Yet today, take a moment and receive the healing of your wounds. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And it is when we open up to God in this fashion as we go through now day number 12 of this amazing 21 days of fasting and consecration, our spiritual cleansing, that we arrive at this particular area of protection, of health rather, of what God is doing. This is day number 13. That God is going to do what he promised he would do and heal us. Heal us directly. Heal us specifically. He will heal your wounds, saith the Lord. When we understand this, we need to walk then in the power of knowledge, of the knowledge of God. That whatever has happened to us, as we surrender this to God and rely upon the promises of God, God says, I'll restore health to you. And so we speak that word over every situation, over every person today. God says, I'll restore your health. I'll restore your vitality. I'll restore your happiness. I'll restore your vigor. I'll restore your motivation. I will restore your inspiration. I'll restore those areas of your life that previously were never attended to. Sometimes we are so professional at tucking things away and hiding things in our experience and putting a front on our pain and putting a front on our, dis our discomfort. And yet God says in, in this, on this day, let me, on this day of health, can we, can we call it that? On this day of health, God says, I will restore even the things that we do not confess. I will restore and heal your wounds. If we open up to God and offer them to Him, I am the Lord that healeth thee. God can do this. God can make a way and God can allow us to walk in the kind of freedom in the absence of of wounds and in the absence of the weight that sometimes infractions cause in our lives. Somebody's feeling lighter today because God is lifting uh, even the concern of the mind. He's healing the problems of the mind. He's healing the problems of the spirit. Healing the problems of the soul. And so he's healing the wounds. Offer them to him today. Offer them to him. In fact, whatever it is that you need healed, offer them to Him today in your private time of devotion and prayer. Offer them to Him in the secrecy of your relationship with God. No one has to hear your confession. No one has to know the kinds of, the kinds of stuff that we're hiding. No one has to know that. But in your interaction with God today, will you? Will you receive the restoration of God? Or will you receive the healing of God? And will you release what normally has bound you in? So we pray for healing. We pray for health. We pray for restoration. We want the Lord to, who was wounded for our transgressions, to be our healer. And we want the power of God to be with us. We want him to overcome everything that we're experiencing so that we might receive the fullness of our healing and the fullness of our deliverance. If you want to be healed today, do healing is ours so father we thank you for the opportunity to pray to you for health and strength thank you that you're healing us body mind and spirit i pray today that whatever the concerns are pray that whatever we stand in need of someone watching this today not sure how they're going to recover and be healed from the wounds that they faced in their lives wounds that they've carried for a long time. I pray, Lord, that you will speak this word of restoration to our health and that you'll bring us back to wholeness, bring us back to a place where we're centered, where we understand who we are, we're certain, we're settled in who we are. And the only way that we can achieve that is if you heal us. So, Father, heal us right now. In 
victorious name of the Lord Jesus. Release the spirit of healing. We'll know that it's done when it's lifted. Straightway we'll know when the work is done. We pray now for the healing of our body, mind, and spirit. Do it during this, con during this consecration. Do it before we end this 21-day fasting. Do it, Lord, so that we might lead productive lives and serve you and work for you and do the things that you've caused us and prompted us to take care of in the kingdom. We bless you. We thank you now. We give you all praise and glory. Pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper.